uh, good afternoon, uh, countrymen and women, and good afternoon to all the members of the press who are here. Let me take recognition of the Central Committee of the National Democratic Congress, which has been represented by 30 members out of 40. 30 members out of 40 gathered this morning to deliberate on the issue of the alliance and the way forward in terms of elections for the NDC. As I alluded to two days ago, that it was very difficult for me and then professional to say anything over the issue of the alliance without consulting the uh, National Governing Council, which we popularly refer to as Central Committee. The party constitution of the NDC reposes the authority to make decisions of the party in the Central Committee. And the quorum of the Central Committee, according to our party constitution, is 22. We are currently 40 members of the Central Committee, and out of those 30, out of those 40, 30 attended. During this meeting, I gave a report of what transpired when they gave us a mandate to go and negotiate an electoral pact between the UPND, the NDC, RPP, and obviously our big brother, Mr. Milupi. Let me say that I am extremely disappointed that some of our brothers in the NDC have decided to take a destructive route other than building our beloved party. We were given a mandate by the people through the National Governing Council to go and negotiate terms and also uh, how we were going to operate as an alliance government. We started these meetings, I think, three years ago. And when I said last week that the issue of the alliance is almost 99.01%, there were only three sticking issues that were left. We agreed almost on everything, although the last meeting that they had, which I did not attend, but I assigned my vice president, the secretary general, and two or three members of the National Governing Council to go and represent us. And the mandate we gave them was our position was that we needed to go in the alliance as NDC in an alliance with other political parties. For the past three years, the sticking point has been that, first and foremost, we were deliberating on the name, what was the alliance going to be called. Our friends, the UPND, suggested that they wanted the alliance to be called UPND Alliance. We asked them, UPND Alliance, Alliance with who? When you call it UPND Alliance, it will be an alliance with who? We suggested two things. That we either formulate a new name altogether, either by maintaining opposition alliance as a legal entity, or we call it Northeast Southwest Alliance to encompass the issue of tribalism that has engulfed our beloved country on the political scene. What we said was, look, the UPND is regarded as the southwest 
Northwestern Party. And any other political party that is either a breakaway from PF or that is associated with a breakaway from MMD or MMD was referred to as a Northern Party. Now, when the name becomes North, South, East, West Alliance, this issue of tribalism that, is, that has engulfed our country will be dealt with. Even if we don't call it Northwest Alliance, we suggested maybe we can call it a, a, a Rainbow Alliance like it was called in Kenya. Our friends rejected all this and said they just wanted to be called UPND Alliance. We put our foot down. At that time, we were in tandem with my brother, who I respect very much. Up to today, even my Secretary General, Mrs. Atanga, who I still call my mother up to this day. And let me say this, that yesterday I saw Mrs. Atanga claiming that I called her a fluffy dog. Let me say this, that when I said this war that has started, our colleagues have started, is like a fluffy biting a lion. That was a figure of speech. I used that figuratively, implying that a giant cannot be fought by a midget. And I did not refer it to anybody. And let me say to the country and Mrs. Atanga, Madam, if you felt I insulted you, I unreservedly apologize. Equally to the other, the other members who, were, who attended that briefing, if you felt that I called you a fluffy dog or I insulted you, I unreservedly apologize. The issue, the issue at hand is not about who finish who, who wins who. The issue at hand is the people of Zambia. The issue at hand, the issue at hand is the people of Zambia. And I don't even understand where our brothers and my sister I have now started my attacking my personal integrity and dragging me to court over an issue that they understand that the mandate were given. <laughs> Like I was saying, like I was saying, our colleagues refused. They said, can we go and think about this uh, use of the name or the flagship, as it were? When we came back, our friends became reasonable. The late young man, Lukuku, suggested in that meeting that fine, here, the two big political parties are NDC and UPND. We don't mind ourselves not being mentioned in the name of the alliance. Yeah. But can we probably call it the UPNDC yeah. alliance? Yeah. Yeah. They ask that we just add a C on the UPND we put a C, it will come out as UPNDC Alliance. I agreed. We agreed as a party. Our friends refused. Our friends refused. We adjourned that meeting. Again, we came back. Our friends now, because on that day, what transpired was that my brother, uh, President H.H., said, and I quote, if you don't want to be called UPND Alliance, 
then us, we are withdrawing the running mate from giving it to any member of the alliance. And by the way, in the other meeting, we had agreed that I was going to be the running mate, and we agreed. I have never, I have never at any time felt like being the president of an alliance when my elder brother, President H, has been trying to be president five times. I will be very unreasonable, extremely unreasonable. I said, you are older than me. You've been trying at this thing. I've just come out as minister. Be the running, be the president, and I'll be the running mate so that we can help each other. This thing they've been talking about tribalism, when I from the north and you from the south combine forces, the people will believe in us. <laughs> They will believe in us. They will believe in us because they, like I said, they believe that any breakaway from PF, and you know that you, you uh, NDC is a breakaway from PF, is a northern party, and UPND is a southern party. So if the name is UPNDC Alliance, everybody will know that it is a coming together of two political parties. Yeah. Our colleagues accepted in the meeting that we had that yes, it will be called UPNDC Alliance. So the issue of the name was sorted out. What remained now was how do we field members of parliament? We said there are two issues. We either legalize, we go to the Registrar of Societies, and legalize the name UPNDC Alliance. Because members of the UPND, members of NDC, will feel ownership of this vehicle. Then we can field all the, the aspiring candidates on this name UPNDC Alliance. Our friends refused. They said, no, even if we call it UPNDC Alliance, all the MPs must be failed, must, must, must uh, uh, file their nominations on the name UPND. When we insisted that we are not going to accept our members to file as MPs on the UPND, if we don't legalize UPNDC Alliance, then what we can do, we can field president and vice president, you, uh, president, I, running mate, then each individual party must have a portion of MPs in the alliance. Yes. And my suggestion was that to end this tribalism, what we should do is that we should not give ourselves regions. We should not say NDC will field on the Copper Belt, Luapula, Northern, Muchinga, and, North, and uh, Eastern. What I suggested, or what we suggested as NDC was that we are going to have a mixture. For instance, if we go to northern province, we go to Mpolokoso, we say Mpolokoso, it shall be UPND with all the councillors and the MP. Kasama, NDC with all the councillors and the MPs. Luingu, in, uh, 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 Luansenshi, UPND. In the other constitution, constituents, NDC. And our suggestion was that out of 100% seats, we are only asking for 40% as NDC because you have the larger political party, yeah. you take 60%. Yeah. They refused that we cannot give you 60%, 40%, because we have been in existence for a long time. I said, okay, fine, on behalf of the party. We can reduce to 30 
We respect you as big brother. We'll give you 70% of the MPs. We get 30. As long as we have a mixture of MPs elected. So that if the people in Northern Province, the people in Wapula, see that there is you NDC standing in Southern Province, NDC standing in Western Province, NDC standing in Northwestern Province, UPND standing in Northern Province, UPND standing in Wapula, UPN standing on the Copper Belt, they will believe that this is the end of tribalism and we should support yeah. it. <laughs> Our brothers rejected. They said, no, what you are going to do is, yes, 30% we can agree to give you. But you select these 30% and let them come and file the nomination on UPND. But there will be, excuse me, Patikadas, we can, eh? we can be happy, but let's be happy minimum. I want the nation to listen so that they are not misled. Our friend said you can bring your 30%. Give us the names, then they'll come and stand on UPND, but they'll be your MPs. I said, what legal provision are you using? In Parliament, when you stand as UPND, you belong to the UPND. When you stand as the as the as the NDC, you that's the only time you belong to NDC. And by the way, colleagues, we've already got one MP. Surely. Are we going to accept that you should not run on NDC, you should run on PF? We are on, on uh, UPND. We are respected as a political party because we have representation in parliament. Surely you want me to, to lose even one, even a quarter, fifty, something. Think of us. My brother said, ah, if you don't want then I'm going to withdraw the running mate and give it to one of my people. I told him, do it now. I said, do it now if you want. Get it away from me. Yeah. I don't mind. I am not here to be treated like a small boy or to be treated like we are pleading with you. Let's respect one another and consider one another as partners. Not even equal partners because we've given you 70%. We have only 30%. But even that 30% that must be respected. If you don't want this, then well, we have no agreement. We adjourned that meeting. I sent my vice president, Stakafumba, after we came and consulted Central Committee. We called the mini Central Committee of about 20 or so, because that time there was COVID was at its peak. So we said, let's just call a few members of Central Committee and consult on this. We told them, this is what the UPND are saying, and they are saying we should all run on UPND, and our members of Central Committee, in the presence of Stakafumba was there, Professor Atanga was there, Mrs. Atanga was there, rejected, unanimously rejected, that we cannot be swallowed and we cannot have our members run on UPN. And there's an example, countrymen and women. And let me give you what happened in 206. ULP and PF were in an alliance. We allowed ULP to, to field candidates in, in Western province. And we said, if there are any candidates who are popular on, on, uh, on PF, in Western Province, they will run on new LP ticket. And also, those candidates who look popular on the northern side must run on PF. One of them was Honorable Winda, Honorable Alfreda Kamsembe, and the late Mr. Mutonga, who was Kanyama Member of Parliament. They stood on UPN, on PF, on a PF ticket. And we won the elections in 2006. 
Mr. Sequila Scott has started complaining every time we had the, uh, uh, we call the uh, a caucus of MPs and say, Mr. Sata, you are calling my MPs without my knowledge. And uh, really, you cannot be calling my MPs without getting permission from me. Mr. Sata said, oh, you have your MPs? Said, yes. Who are those? Honorable Uvinda, cancer, they said, okay, thanks, I'll get back to you. I said, I called these three and told them, I am told you are ULP MPs. Tell me if you are ULP MP today, I write the speaker to declare your seats vacant so that I can field my own members. Lubinda, <laughs> Alfreda Kansembe, and Mr. Mutonga said, we are not UAOP, we are PF. Tell Mr. Sequiva not to interfere. Mr. Sata said, me to tell Mr. Sequiva. <clears throat> you yourselves go and tell him. <laughs> they went and told Mr. Sequiva, we are not UAOP, we are PF. When they came back, they were appointed. Lubinda became member of Central Committee. Mr. Mutonga became member of Central Committee in charge of uh, uh, security. That was the end of ULOP. I have that history. That history. I will be very naive, extremely naive, to accept that kind of arrangement. <laughs> it is like they are telling you there is a lion there, and that's where you are running. You'll be eaten. You'll be eaten. So we told our colleagues, this thing will only work, to summarize, will only work once we agree on the flagship that is acceptable. We agree to share constituencies. We'll still give you 70%. We'll get 30%. And above all, we need, before we sign any agreement, we must now harmonize our ideologies and our manifestos. Up to now, they've signed the, an agreement. Ideologies have not been agreed upon. Manifestos have not been, been harmonized. We have delayed as NDC <clears throat> to officially launch our manifesto. We have a manifesto because we believe that we're going to harmonize the manifestos as we go in the alliance. In a nutshell, I am not against the alliance, but we are against the alliance where we are treated like big brother, young brother. An alliance where our party has not, will not be respected and that we should turn from NDC to pure UPND. That we totally reject. And I must say that the resolution of this central committee you are seeing here today, these are the results. Can we accept, the question was, can we accept those terms, all the 30 they have written here. No, 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 no. <laughs> now coming to my colleagues, Brother Akafumba, my mother, Mrs. Atanga, Father Luonde, Frederick Membe, Mr. Professor Atanga, I hold you in very high esteem. I respect all of you. By the way, I'm younger than all of you. I am 52. Mrs. Atanga is 62. Although jokingly, yesterday I was joking with my, my, my family. I said, Mrs. Atanga was saying, come with my chesana, fit to be my son. Then me, if I'm the firstborn, could she have the child at 10 years old? Defilement. <laughs> Excuse me. I take very strong exceptions to insults. Shouting that defilement is an insult. Respect our mother, Mrs. Natanga. What I've said was just something uh, on a lighter note. But don't disparage and say defilement. Can you apologize and withdraw? Shout that I apologize and withdraw. I apologize and reservedly and withdraw.
Thank you very much. I am not fighting you, my dear brothers and sisters. All I'm asking, let's do the right thing. And this whole thing of going to court, dragging me to court and saying I was not elected as MP, you know, people will just think as, as president, people will just be looking at you and wonder, like my brother, Akafumba, you are a lawyer of very high repute with over 30 years of, uh, of uh, the practicing law. Surely, <laughs> the party constitution in Article 24.3, subsection 4, states clearly, and I quote, in case my elder brother as a lawyer, you didn't read our manifesto, our constitution. It says the party constitution, I mean, the party constitution clearly states that the party through the National Governing Council or its original office bearers can appoint a president until one is elected at the Congress. The part through its National Governing Council, who is the Central Committee, can elect a president or its original office bearers, who in this case are here, all of them, can appoint a president until one is elected at the council. I, Chishimba Kambwili, was appointed by National Governing Council in accordance with Article 24.3. So the claim that I was not elected, which you have taken to court, is baseless and devoid of any legal support. Secondly, Article 24.4 of our party constitution states, and I quote, Article 24 further states that a president so appointed a president so appointed by NGC, National Governing Council, or by its original members, shall have such rights and powers, shall have such rights and powers as if he was elected at the party congress. End of quote. How do you say I was not elected? I'm not... I'm not... Uh, a, 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 a president of a party. And it says in appointing the president, you need two thirds. Even in removing the president, you need two thirds. Now, whether I qualify that one time, are you two thirds? Whether I qualify that one time, are you two thirds? I leave it to the people of Zambia to see. Again, Mrs. Atanga, my dear sister, my mother, I should have, I'm fit to be your, your firstborn son. I agree, totally agree. I respect women and I respect you, my mother. And I'll forever respect you until the end of time. Article 25D of our constitution says, the president, in consultation with the secretariat, my dear sister Wanatanga, the president in consultation with the secretariat, not the secretary general, but the secretariat, convenes meetings of the national governing body. The president in consultation with secretariat, for which you, you used to head until today. No, no, sorry. You are still the secretary general but I'll announce the resolutions that we have made on you after I finish dealing with this issue of the alliance. <coughs> so the power to convene national governing council lies in the president in consultation with the secretariat. It is the president who should tell the secretary general, Madam or secretariat, 
May we have the Central Committee on the 25th? Yes, we can go ahead. Please convene the Central Committee, not vice versa. Besides, ma'am, yesterday you said, come with the appointed me as Secretary General around 06 when he formed his party. Now, how do you fire somebody who appointed you? How do you fire the appointed you? <laughs> So, what the Secretary General, Mrs. Atanga, was saying, because she's a still our Secretary General, although she will face some disciplinary action. For us here is not to chase people. We want to build. And surely, we want to build. Alliance fell, he said, to flung down your party, yes. Alanga, we have to join the UPND. All you can do, you just go and... Join them. Yeah. Where I come from, they say, yeah. I know what has happened. Some people said, no, if Kambu doesn't accept and the party is, what we'll do, we'll just bring confusion, go to court, obtain an injection, an injunction, so that to collect Tarikana by the time to let Pishanya in Shama election and nomination. Now, I'm going to say, 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 I hope Tefio Chidi. And I'm not accusing you at Tefio Chidi. I'm only saying Tefio Chidi because that's the information I received and verified. It's only you who can tell me whether it's true or not. So to call the Central Committee, it is the president, the National Governing Council. It is the president in consultation with Secretariat. There is no provision in a constitution that authorizes the Secretary General or even the Vice President to call for a National Governing Council meeting. I can only be removed as President by the resolution of a National Governing Council with two-third majority, period. So let's not waste the court's time. The courts are very busy. There is COVID. You want to go and bring issues but we hear you want to go to court. You were even trying to get an injunction. But if you have an injunction, you can fiat. You can fiat. You can fiat. You fiat. You can 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 fiat. You You can fiat. 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 You can in conclusion, the Central Committee has resolved all those who were involved in that illegal, uh, illegal press conference have been suspended with immediate effect. And we are going to write to each individual going by the provision of the Constitution, which requires that all our disciplinary procedure states, and I quote, under section eight of the disciplinary code, the disciplinary procedure is laid out as follows. A, the offending member must be written to, stating out the particulars of the offense. B, the person must be given 10 days in which to respond and exculpate him or herself. C, then the hearing shall be, shall be constituted, where the member will come and defend himself. D, then a decision is made of the punishment to be mented out. And by the way, according to our constitution, this is disciplinary procedure. Once the hearing of a disciplinary committee hears the matter, on a member of National Governing Council, they will refer the matter to the National Governing Council to confirm their verdict. It means they will, they will write to the National Governing Council recommending the disciplinary action to be taken against this individual. When National Governing Council sits, it will now either confirm the verdict or even reduce it or even forgive a member. So we are going to follow procedure 
by writing to all of you, including Honorable Shala, my younger brother. Yeah. You are suspended. Yeah. And we'll write to you to exculpate 10 days. If you don't write, you don't exculpate yourself. Well and good. We'll come and reconvene here yeah. and we'll decide the, your fate. Yeah. Countrymen and women, I have said and I want to say that I'm not power angry. I'm not looking to be president today. I have I have intentions of becoming president through legitimate ways. But if today we say, let's come together and save the people of Zambia through this alliance and come with be vice president or be a, 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 you know, chairman of finance, for the sake of liberating the Zambians, I will accept like I accepted. When we started this, people were saying, Kachaka Wombe because come within a church when somebody was power hungry. I don't know how many people are in the church. I don't know how many people are in the church. I don't know how many people are in the church. Where I come from, they say, yeah. meaning there are for umkulu umkulu. Yeah. And obviously, in terms of being president, umkulu in this alliance, who is a son, and yet, church, yeah. why wouldn't I respect him? I still don't understand why the UPND was so adamant on straightforward issues that could have resolved our alliance. Having said that, effective today, unless otherwise, unless otherwise, NDC is no longer a member of the alliance. <laughs> I hope I've made myself very clear and to you my brothers and sisters Professor Atanga Navambi the constitution is on our side. We have done the correct thing. We have convened Central Committee. And by the way, I want the country to know that when they came to report to me, I directed Mrs. Atanga and the Vice President call for Central Committee. Instead of calling for Central Committee, we come and resolve issues. They decide to go and expel me, illegally expel me, hound me out of the party, and decide to go to court. Courts are there to to resolve disputes when you have failed to resolve a dispute. Yeah. But the question is, did we fail to resolve this issue? Oh. And by the way, yeah. if you
that in the absence while Mrs. Atanga is answering to disciplinary uh, charges, Pro, uh, Dr. Is it Professor or Doctor? <laughs> Dr. Mbulo, member of the Central Committee, has been appointed has been appointed as acting Secretary General with immediate effect until further. <laughs> Thank you very much. If there are any questions from the press, I can take the question. But otherwise, we can call it a day. Thank you very much. <laughs>